I'm just gonna say this once and one time only. If you have to feel like you need to beat me down because I stand for what I stand for, then GTFO, okay, GTFO. Because I will not tolerate it one bit. I can't. I'm allowed to feel how I feel and stand for what I stand for without you putting your two motherfucking cents in. It's that simple. I don't tell you what to do with your life. I don't tell you how to run your life. I don't tell you what you're right or wrong in doing. Don't do it to me. Don't. This particular case is for the fact that I think Trump is a racist. I get so much backlash for it and I don't get it because all he has done through his entire campaign trail was talk about racist shit. Or homophobic shit. Or sexism shit. But he ain't none of that and I'm wrong for expressing how I feel. But everyone in America want to jump three fences with some forks in their hand when a white boy raped that drunk girl. And all he got was a slap on a wrist because... Uh, his college life or his football or basketball, where the fuck sports career he had was too precious to lose. What's the difference? He did it, but he said he didn't. So he's right, right? No, that's right. That's only when it benefits everyone else. That's right. That's right. I forgot that's how America works. I'm posting shit that I feel is true and correct because I do my research, I investigate, and I watch. So I see what's done, I see how it's done, and I see who's doing it. And it's an attack on my life. It's an attack on my family. See, because I think everyone is blind, like no one uses their eyesight. I guess it's not 2020 anymore. I mean, and that's okay, you know, sh shit digresses. But um, my family is mixed. So since there are people in my family who do not have the same skin tone as I do, face bullshit out in the world. Because shit Trump said during his campaign trail got all these white supremacist people up on their motherfucking high horse. Ready to kill anyone who's not white. Will, ready to kill anyone who is not um, using their body parts for the opposite sex. Anyone who is willing to smack uh, or who isn't willing, well who is willing to smack any woman. But I'm wrong for expressing how I feel. Stop. If you got a problem with it, delete my number, delete my Facebook, delete my Twitter, delete my Instagram. Delete it all. Because if you can't use your brain and your heart to understand that there are people in your life that are affected differently than how your white life is affected, I don't need to be your friend. You don't need to be mine. Because there's no compassion. There's nothing. People just want to get mad because I express what I express what I want to. And that's fine. Haters always gonna hate and you ain't gonna make everybody happy. But you're not gonna keep coming for me and mine just because my story is different than yours. It's not going to happen. I won't let it happen. It shouldn't happen that way. And I don't get it because I attack nobody. I don't tell anybody how to live. I don't tell anybody what to do with their life. 
I don't. It's cool though, because the real people who really on my side and the people who know my story are so supportive. It literally makes me weep. But if you don't know what's my story, keep your mouth closed. Ask questions before you just jump. Cause I jump higher, I get cuter. I'm all that, wrapped up in one. People, people don't understand that you don't have to agree or understand what someone else is fighting for, but you can't respect it. Or at least keep your motherfucking mouth closed. That's all you gotta do. Especially if they ain't hurting nobody. But the only thing people getting hurt out here is their motherfucking feelings. I will keep fighting for what is right and I won't stop. And if I lose you or you or you, 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 you along the way, 